Hey, babies. What's up, my darling MVPs, and how you all doing? Welcome back to Sail with Mimi Shosley, Mimi, where you get the gist. I see they do waiting. I see they hurt. Of course, you know there is no sleeping on a bicycle on this channel. If you snooze, you do what? You lose. Are you here to subscribe to this channel? Or are you still sitting on a fat, long thing? Kindly pause right there. Subscribe. And make sure you turn on the notification bell. If not, tell me. How do you want to get the gist brewing from the cooking pot? Like, how do you want to get the gist? I see the heart. Talking about the gist, I see the heart. Coming from Yolanda Mukondi International. Yes, we have letter to You don't want to miss this one. Catch us tomorrow at 3 o'clock on Loud Wednesday with Yolanda. Now, here is it. We all know that Wednesdays are for Yolanda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And guess who we are having on Yolanda's podcast? Hello. <laughs> we are having the one and only Lerato Modese. You know, you know the pain is here. You see where I told you guys, fans, you guys take things so personal. Le, um, Yolanda and Lerato Papagos, they were not best of friends in the house. If I even say best of friends, I'm even putting it putting it in a cool place. They were not cool in the house. In fact, Lerato personally do not like Yolanda. In fact, from the beginning of the week, like when they started the season, Lerato laments in the diary session on how much she does not like Yolanda. She was telling Big Brother, I don't like that girl. I don't like that girl. She even said it to Yolanda's face. She wasn't hiding it one bit. But you know, as fate may have it, as things goes on, you know, people, she actually reacts according to how she sees Yolanda, you know. But as time goes on, towards the ending of the season, Yolanda starts to see a different part of um, Lerato that she do not know. You know, Lerato also have this good thing she sees in Yolanda. That is one thing about her, man. We are all good in our various ways. Like, it's just for us to know each other and then you get to see a good part and then we have to walk on our bad side. You understand? So now, for, for you to see how it is going on outside of the house, Yolanda has decided that she is not going to keep malice with anybody so many people said she's doing this because of her podcast that all she's doing that if, if not for her podcast she would want to you know create um malice or you know all, all of that i'm like okay i think you people do you might not know a person and you start judging this girl also said it on her space she said she is somebody that does not know how to bear grudge when i go quarrel finish that like you guys would quarrel and everything but the cocoa is you might be eating the next minute she would dip her hand inside your food and eat because she is not in for unnecessary grudge and she said that was the reason why she connected to liema panty that liema is someone who do not know how to bear grudges that she connects with people easily who, who are just like her who has the same characteristics as her so any which ways it was lerato and them um, yolanda on today's podcast so by 3 p.m it's gonna be out and it's giving a loud one two loud peeps you know though yolanda is louder by far you know so it was giving she even used the words that she always say you can go jump into the pool you know when they were having ish oh my god i just remember that season yo hey they really tried on this yolanda yolanda gave them headache gave them headache and she no sent <laughs> Forget it. If Yolanda had won that this season, that um Siamusho season, she deserved a joker pass. She deserved. And her content was not even based off on shipping. Her content was not based off of uh, let me use this person and shine. Let me let's be tools and uh, be in tools and no 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 no. She was her own content. She gave all of the housemates headache. <laughs> I really do miss her. If there's going to be a BBM, that is BB in Zanzi All-Star Season, I really want to see Yolanda there. It's not even I want to see her there. She's going to be among, among the people they would pick. She's even going to be among the top five people they would pick because that girl, no, 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 she's a show. So let me come back to the reality though. So guys, um, these two being together, Lerato being on um, Yolanda podcast, actually stared brows. People are like, yo, Yolanda has a good heart. Yo, this one, that one. You know, I'm like, there are some things you can learn from your faves. Standing does not mean just go there and drag people. You can learn from those peeps. Learn not how to bear grudges. Learn to move on. If those peeps who are in the house, 
who face the reaction that is pissing you guys off of not liking a person, if they come out of the house and they are in cool terms with each other, who are the fans to continue dragging this? That is the question you should ask yourself. Who are the fans to continue dragging this when the peeps who are involved are cool with each other? I don't know if you people do not, cannot just stay and reason like this a bit. In that note, people were so surprised seeing them together. You know, they were like, yo, Yolanda, you have a good heart and all of that. Anyways, let's see people's reaction after Yolanda revealed um, the um, upcoming podcast with um, Lerato. All right, this person says, I can't wait. I love me some twins too much, ne? but you went robbed, Yoli. You are the most stylish housemate. They all know that. Talking about that, I will get there. I will really get there. Your good heart's going to take you far. You know, they were hyping now that she has a good heart because of how she accepted everybody in her podcast. Like she allowed um, um this person, Jared, who was always nominating her, you know, to come. You know, even Lerato, Papa Ghost. Papa Ghost would come too. That I'm sure of. You taught me not to hold grudges. That is what you guys should learn exactly. Thank you for that. I can't wait for this episode. You won the best dress. Positive energy. I know you'll be wondering what concept, what's the business of best dress here. I'll just you guys. I just want to just you guys when um twins are reacted. Let me just finish with the comments she got when she posted this on her ex. Yo, are you land with a good heart? Peace was never an option. Lovely episode. It choke. See ya, Mosha. You move on. Them two is gonna be loud. Two strong personalities in one room. I love me, Miss Modise. I would definitely watch and like. I love Lerato too. And she's so cute. Yeah, Lerato is so cute. Okay. Linda Babi said, Yolanda doesn't hold grudges. She's always spreading positivity. I like her and her fans are the best. Always peace and love. Yes. I accept that Yolanda fans are the best too. Yolanda fans are not in for necessary drag. The moment Yolanda cautioned them, they just stand at ease. Yeah. Now, talking about the best dress and everything, you know Yolanda, that girl can be so stubborn. So she brought the issue about the best dress when they did that um, award thingy in the house. She was like, you guys gave um, um, twins our best dress. And remember, even in the house, twins are was pissed about how Yolanda took it personal. And Yolanda, on the other hand, thinks she said it loud because she's close to um, twins. Are, so she wasn't expecting um, twins are to pick offense with whatever she said. She said if it was somebody who was not close to her, she wouldn't have said it out loud we all know this through the diary room you know so Chuenza said in the diary room that she's quite disappointed to see that a friend as Yolanda could do that and Yolanda on the other hand said she said it because they are friends now Yolanda still is not backing out of it she still reminded Lerato about it and then Chuenza said something after she came across the podcast and said Yolanda you can summer come get the award at my house Stephanie you can't she should come and get it <laughs> Well, how have you like very school? Like Yolanda can stress things. If you don't understand Yolanda, you'll be having issues with her back to back. Okay, guys, let's go back to MC Lee. We all know how the fans have been purposing. With Liema and MC Junior meeting each other the other time. And you know how things are on the BB Street. It's going to elongate. Like it's going to take a long while before we get this one out of our mind again. So people are saying a whole lot, you know. And they said this particular video, the video um, Liema posted about those the two of them on TikTok has huge view. Liema and MC Junior's TikTok video has more than 640k. And I am sure 630k of the view is me. I love the video. It's a TikTok challenge, but it is so them. Exactly. That is how Mark Jr. reacted. Coming across that video made me remember how they were in the house. Those are one of the moments I enjoyed in that house. True, see me laughing uncontrollably. They are so real, raw, and free with each other. You know, quite a cute bestie. So people were reacting and saying, yes, truly, they are actually um, having huge views. As you can see, this person said, it's, is it 80,000? Now it's crazy. I watched over and over getting ready for work i am obsessed they must give us content every two months care at least in between the two months they must serve us entry in the form of posts on their ig stories teasing each other i know many people enjoy their friendship but you guys already know who mc junior is he's somebody that is not on the social space in fact people are saying it was jerry that brought him out <laughs> Wahala. Sana, the engagement on Liam's TikTok videos of her and MC Junior. We are all MC Lee shippers. We are just in denial. Wahala, be like bicycle on this one. Oh, this one is a huge revealing. 
Everybody is now hungry for clout. Jared sweet damage and also brought people out to you. Now, wow, let me keep quiet and pass. Like I said, people keep saying that MC Junior came out because of Jared. You know, that was what forced him out. The thing she was feeding herself now, remember I shared that video here yesterday. So, and then they were saying that, oh, it was MC Junior feeding Liam and I said it wasn't him. I was even saying she passed rest. I said it wasn't him. Now they brought a video of MC Junior Hand actually feeding Liema. And it wasn't even the video that says it all. You know, because people have been arguing about that. Some persons be like, no, she passed, you're doing too much. It was um Liema's hand. She was feeding herself. It wasn't Mark Junior feeding her. And now Liema has actually come to confirm what the truth is. Now this person said, and Liema cleared up the confusion on whose hand was feeding her. I was a bit confused. I actually thought it was her hand. And guess what? Whose hand is feeding exactly? And Liema said his. So guys, truly, it was MC Junior's hand that was feeding Liema. <laughs> Well, how have you like bicycle? Any which ways, um, whilst the Liema fans are papazing with the MC Lee ship and everything, this is me still, still reminding them that Liema is amongst the SA most wanted and it's going to happen pretty soon, which is on the 16th of this month. It's very close already. Just four days to go. Yeah, just four days because today is 12th already. One more time flies with this June that we just entered. Today is 12th. All right, guys. Um, Liema, um... The podcast she went for up close and personal is out, you know. And then this particular, there's this question she was asked that got people talking, that got people actually dissing the MC leadership. They are like, you guys should rest. Liema and MC Junior do not have a thing. You know me, I told you guys, I said, I don't deal with delusions. I love MC Junior and Liema's friendship, but they are not dating. So Liema was asked here if she was in a relationship. She said she is single. That she's not dating. And she was also asked that what does she need in a man? And she said she doesn't answer such questions because she answering such is going to prepare a man who want to play her to act according to what she just gave. You know, while without knowing whom the true person is, it is better you come with your true personality and then she would assess if it is what she wants for herself. When she said that, I'm like, no, this girl is smart because this is what Mimi just me do. You don't come and tell me what do you like in a man and you expect me to start giving you so that you come and ask the same way i told you no ways be you and let's see how that plays out because we have too many fake people these days all right guys i'm gonna end this on this beautiful note with this bravo's picture it says he posted this cute picture of himself and said every restart is a chance to do better take it slowly and steady exactly boy i think you're talking to yourself yeah bravo b i think you're talking to yourself take it slowly boy you know steady and slowly you're gonna get there i know you'll be going through a lot because i understand what it is post show you know you thinking oh you're gonna be there and noticing that you had plenty fans though the fans are not reflecting that's why i said if you think bravo be really hard fans like that why are you guys not reflecting on him post show I keep lamenting on that. Bravo B fans are not reflecting on him post show. Does it mean you guys moved on immediately? He left the house. I really want an answer to that. Anyways, guys, on this note, I'm going to be dropping my voice right here. And now to see you guys later. Thank you so, so much for always sailing with me. Bye for now, babies.